Folks, I had a subscriber ask how to fade audio out. This is a very simple question, and it's been, no question is too simple. Uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about that. Really, the, the effect he's wanting to do, he's wanting to like maybe, first of all, it's a piece of video of me playing some blues. I'll show you, let's let, let you hear a little bit of it. So let's say I don't want to hear myself play those last few notes. I want to kind of fade it out like you would just, uh, you know, maybe at the end of a record or something. Maybe I want this video to fade out too. So I'll give you two for one here. First of all, let's do the, the audio first since that's the question. I'm going to go over here into the effects, right? I'm going to type in constant gain, C-O-N-S-T-A-N-T. Now you'll see that constant, if you type it in, actually it's constant power, not constant gain. That's what I want to use, constant power. You see that when I type it in, it comes up under audio transitions, and so here it is. It's, it's like under a crossfade, right? So if I want to fade out, there's two things you could do. You could have it fade from one audio to another. We're not going to show you that just yet. We'll show you the fade out first. You just drag it over the end of the video, and you see a little bit thing there. I'm going to zoom in. By, I'm going to grab one of these sliders and zoom in with it. That is the range at which this from here to here is where it's going to fade out from from what it currently is the current uh, level of gain to zero. So I'd kind of like this to fade out a little earlier than that. I'm going to pull this back. I just grab the end of it. You see as you roll over the end of that right there, it turns into a little thing where you can pull. See the red thing there? Pardon me. <coughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm, is I'm moving the begin point. The begin point would be 100% gain here down to zero at the end. So let's just listen as, for instance, from right, from right here at this point here now, it's going to fade out. Let's hear what we got. So it fades out there. And if I want, to, if I want that to start earlier back, I can go back here. So where it's doing, it's fading out now at this point. It's starting to fade right here and it's going down to the end. Let's say I want the end of this the video to fade out too. I'm going to go over here and do cross, C-R-O-S. I want to pick cross dissolve. I'm just typing in this hole up here and it pulls it up under video transitions. I'm going to pull this over the end here. And so I want maybe just, to, just as the audio does, I want this video to fade to black here at the end. And it should let me select that. That's aggravating. It's not, isn't it? There we go, cross dissolve. There we go. Now I can pull it. Just get in there close enough for it to let you. So now my video will start to fade out too at the end. See? That kind of makes for a neat little effect. Now let's do, let's say we wanted pieces of video to, first of all, let me go ahead and pull it rendered video in. This is something we could show you here. Here is the uh, project I done, did there. So let's show how maybe let's pull another one into file. Let me import another one. Uh, let's import a blues I did a couple nights back. Let's see if I can find one. That one's called Gentle Blues. Here's Heap and Help in a Blues. That sounds good. So we'll pull Heap and Help in a Blues in. <laughs> and pull it in over here too. So the reason I pulled that in is I'm going to pull up another. I'm going to make another sequence here. So I'm going to go in, into here. I'm going to do a right click. I'm going to say New Sequence. Okay, it looks good. We'll call this crossfade. I'll say okay. So now we're going to pull in gentle blues. And that's the entire rendered out blues I just did there. Let's say I don't want to play that whole blues. I want to play like two minutes of it here. Two minutes and seven seconds of it. So I'm going to come to here and I'll pull this back. Okay. So I've got two minutes and seven seconds of blues here. Let's say I even don't want that much. That's only going to use a few seconds. I'm going to pull the beginning of it back. I'm going to ripple delete that. So now I've got, a, you know, I've got 33 seconds of blues here. And so let's say I want to use Heap and Help in a blues and, and just fade into that. So I'm here I'm talking about the guitar I'm playing. And so I'm going to, you know, maybe do a little blues medley here. So I just clicked and mark end point here. Double clicked on the video. Brought it up in the, in the uh, source monitor. So I'm going to set an end point here at the beginning. I haven't even paid any attention to what's happening here. So I'm going to click on the out point here. I'm going to pull the whole piece of video down. So now I've got two different pieces of blues video, and I want these to cross dissolve together. So first of all, I'm going to handle the 
video part of it by using the cross dissolve that I've already got selected here, right? I'm going to pull that in, so it's going to be a cross dissolve between those two pieces of video. When if I come to here and then zoom in, it gets me closer to what I want. I might want that to last a little bit longer. It's about one second. Now it'll be closer to two seconds. I just grabbed one end of it. Either end doesn't matter. You see what happens. It just increases the time of the dissolve. So now the video is dissolving from one end to the other. If I drag across it, you'll see. But the audio didn't. The audio is a very abrupt uh, transition here. So let's go back to constant gain. C O E N S T. Excuse me, constant power. I keep saying constant gain. Constant power is what you want to use. Constant gain does something a little different. But I like the, this is the one you want to use for your crossfades. So now I've got a crossfade that's about the same as that. And if I want the audio to translate just a little bit differently, maybe a little longer, I can do that. And I can come out here to the end of my video and do the same thing again like we did before. Cross out that. I could go back to CROS and use cross dissolve again here at the end and fade, fade to black on that. So let's see how this transition happens here. Let's watch it, okay? Go back here to the end. Let's see if our crosses all works out at the end. And it does. So let's say we want this gentle blues here to. Uh, I'm going to pull it a little bit tighter. Ripple delete this. Let's make both these a little shorter, right? We can like actually preview. So what you can do, even if you pull this, your transitions move along with it, right? So your transitions never really. Uh, go away when you pull this. It's kind of convenient in Premiere Pro like that. Let's say I want it to fade from black in the beginning to come into this and we don't want the audio to hit us too much too fast either. I'm going to pull the cross dissolve over the beginning here. I'm going to extend it out a little longer so it takes a little longer to cross dissolve in. And let's make it so that the audio fades in also. Once again, C-O-N-S, constant power. Let's pull it in here. So now we've got audio, I'm going to make it fade in at the same rate that the video does. And here we go, let's watch this little piece of video and see what it sounds like, looks like. Okay, we had a little quick render problem there, let me save that. <laughs> I'll turn it up a little so we can hear. And here we go, uh, one more try here. So there you go folks, that's how you transition audio, at least fading in and out and between pieces of clips. And I threw the video in as a little extra because you know, you're typically going to want to do that too. Hope that helps everyone. Peace. Thanks for watching.